This is a review of colloquial Arabic of Egypt. So this is a detailed review of Jane Whitewick and Mahmoud Ghaffar's book of colloquial Arabic of Egypt. So before listening to all of this video, the book is definitely a keeper among the recommended books for learning uh, Egyptian colloquial Arabic. So what I loved with this book is that the quality of the print, the typography, the paper, the size, all are top-notch, a joy to hold the book in the hands. And the Romanized text is really useful as it shows the vowel sounds and the word stress syllable emphasis in a way that the Arabic script uh, cannot. So the book has a number of sections about phonetic rules, not overwhelming at all, just enough for uh, beginners. The ver word stress, for example, can be used is the way it works that here's yiktib rather than yiktib. So yiktib, so where the stress or emphasized syllable is marked with a, a comma like or an accent. Uh, mudarris, mudarrisa, and mudarrisin. So that's why it is terribly important in uh, Egyptian Arabic. Pronunciation is very important and phonetic rules are terribly important. Okay, uh, nevertheless, so keep in mind that the book uses Latin characters in order to help you to uh, quick start without first teaching Arabic alphabet. But this romanized text in this book is not meant to give an accurate and precise transcript of the dialogues. It is meant as a guideline only. This might be annoying and seems to be a frustrating sloppiness at first, but the goal of the authors was to give an easy-to-use romanization tool at the expense of accuracy. Since the accompanying audio is abundant and excellent, you can learn to live with that nicely. So definitely, with these comments still, I'm pretty sure that this is an excellent book and an audio is, is, is really great. So, and in any, any way, if you want, a fully, if you want to fully understand all the intricacies and uh, phonetic rules, what's happening during the dialogues, you might consider consulting other books that provide full coverage. So they are not replacement of this book, but an extension, an alternative to give extra uh, source of information. For example, books from written by T.F. Mitchell, uh, Abdel Masi, Voidich, M. Aldrich, just to name a few. Then the cultural, cultural points are really great and entertaining, uh, excellent, refreshingly fun to read in the book. Uh, this is, for example, an Arabic for Egypt in Masr, in everyday speech, Maso. So these are the uh, parts which are really useful and entertaining. The other great point is that the Arabic alphabet is presented with the Romanized letters on page 8 and 9 and very early, what I want to say that is uh, terribly important I, and I love it. And the language points uh, are easy to understand, not over complicated and they are terribly useful, so definitely the language points are, are, are a great resource in this book. Another great feature of the book is that it starts teaching Arabic alphabet from the very first lesson. So you can start learning the language with Romanized text while you learn to read, write Arabic alphabet. So at the end of every unit there is 
a lesson, a section uh, to teach you the Arabic alphabet. So this is an excellent, uh, in my opinion, approach in this book. So the book has quite useful English, Arabic and Arabic English glossary. And they, it is here uh, at the end of the book, English Arabic glossary with the uh, alphabetical order and then also with the Arabic script as well as the Romanized version of it. And also including the number of the unit where the word first appear in the book. Yep. And then it likewise it has also an Arabic English glossary and it is also in Romanized version but the words uh, also included the, the so that this is the Romanized and the Arabic version is provided to along with the number referring the units where the word first appear. Yeah. The next excellent point is the audio quality is excellent and the dialogues are fun to listen. And uh, here is for example my favorite one of them write the dialogue one of unit uh, 10. This is really excellent. Uh, and really it, it has a humor also there. Uh, however, keep in mind that um, the audio tracks have too much, in my opinion, 50 60 percentage of the total length English narration. Check out uh, track um, 17 on the Routledge web website and you will understand what I'm talking about. This is freely available and downloadable. For example, Dialogue uh, 1 in this Unit 2 is excellent. Just be prepared that the speakers talk fluent, normal, speed Arabic with a number of elisions, that is omissions, eradication of the sum of the con uh, vowels and contractions that follow the phonetic rules of uh, Egyptian Arabic. The Romanized text on page uh, 26 is just a guideline. It's not a phonologically precise transcript of the audio. Oh, so this is your homework just to listen, slow down the audio and then uh, adjust and correct, how to say, mark what um, vowels are removed and how the actual pronunciation uh, is uh, is done on the uh, on the audio recordings okay and then another great point the exercises are perfectly fine meaningful and actually all of them are fun again cultural points are so much entertaining and educative uh, this one is about the Red Sea and the cities uh, near the Red Sea resort. Okay, the next excellent point related to exercising, there are solution keys to the exercises. In my opinion, that's terribly important for self-contained textbooks, test textbook. Right. And then also all the dialogues and the number of exercises with accompanying audio have Arabic transcript towards the end of the book. Brilliantly excellent. I love that the book is from left to right also, just like the Hans Wehr dictionary. So not reversed and numbered. So these are the transcripts for each and all of the dialogues. This is excellent source from this book. Uh, the book has a not too long but very useful and practical grammar section. 
uh, don't expect out too deep coverage, but grammar in this book is very well balanced. So don't expect again this a comprehensive grammar on Egyptian Arabic, but what it contains is very useful and it gives an absolutely sound and very nice foundation for for the grammar. Yes, and it also has a grammar section as explained a moment ago, including, for example, discussion of the various forms of the verbs, so typical in Arabic. And then comes a couple of points. Uh, what might have been done or could have been done better in this book. Uh, but again, whatever negative I'm saying about this book, it doesn't mean that the book is really excellent and the keeper. Definitely, I love the book. However, uh, here are that, that, for example, just whole funny thing that the definition of the consonant, consonants are no vowels. Yeah, so this is really funny. And then the book states that there are no rules which tell you whether a particular sound should be written as uh, A or I, E, Y or A, Y, E, E or I, I. In my opinion, and not in my opinion, that's the fact that this is absolutely not true established standards, international phonetic alphabet, T.F. Mitchell books and are available and widely used in thousands of publication. So Wikipedia has an excellent, so this is, uh, this is definitely not true. So don't believe this, um, in my opinion, nonsense. What is uh, explained here, it's really, in my opinion, a shame that why it is included. Uh, of course, accurate TypeScript was not a primary goal of the authors uh, of this book, which is totally fine. Just be prepared that the book does not explain all phonetic rules of Egyptian Arabic, which other books do excellently. So what I wanted to say here that what covers the book is really great and very useful, but not, not full. Don't expect that you will fully understand all of the phonetic intricacies of the audio recordings, but most of them are covered, but not all. Okay, and then uh, here comes all of them, actually, my um, complaints are related to this transcription system and phonology. That the singular third person feminine pronoun suffix ha uh, is never pronounced with the long a ah in Egyptian Arabic, as the book indicates ha. Uh, similarly, singular third person male pronoun suffix is normally just u and not u. There is no H sound here in uh, Egyptian Arabic pronunciation. So this uh, is, in my opinion, wrong. This, this shouldn't be... Later, I will explain why is that. I understand. I understand why is that, but definitely I... I would, I would, I would follow here the actual pronunciation rather than something else. So this is a important point uh, to keep in mind. So likewise, the proper pronunciation of vilat ha is with the short uh, a at the end, uh, vilat ha. Here in this part. You see? Of course, this is again uh, Viladu. Viladu. The next point is uh, yes, uh, here 
Mm, igen. The romanization of the singular third person suffixes in this book does not follow the actual pronunciation as I have already explained. Instead, they follow the standard spelling, the, the traditional spelling. For example, uh, Villa du ha. And th this is the spelling. The H here is not pronounced or Villa da ha. But in Egyptian Arabic, uh, H is not pronounced here, Ha is not pronounced here, and also Ha is pronounced with a short Viladu and uh, Vilad Ha with a short. And then the trick here is in Egyptian Arabic, the terminal vowel, uh, except A for feminine, of course of the word is lengthened when a suffix is added. For example, instead of abuya, we uh, the abuya is pronounced abuya. And then remember this uh, accent uh, character mark here is not for the length, uh, for not for long vowel pronunciation. This is just a Mm, uh, marker for the accent. Just listen the accompanying recording, which are anyway excellent, that how to pronounce. And then, uh, as you see here, this is totally wrong. This is not ab ab abuya, it abuya, abuya, abuk, abuki. So this is long u here. And finally, uh, there is no index, which is terribly missing from a printed textbook. So, friends, that was all. Again, I think the book is really excellent. And uh, the problem with this uh, romanization system is not that terrible. But just be prepared that you shouldn't expect the accurate, phonetically accurate, precise um, transcript for the audio recordings. So thank you very much and then have fun with this excellent book when you want to learn Colloquial Arabic of Egypt.